just, uh, you know, understanding how important those possessions are because we're going to find ourselves in a lot of close games and it's important to value the ball, um, take care of it, and at least get a shot to the rim. Um, you know, worst case is a dead ball thrown over, but still, you know, it's a lost possession. So, you know, we, they talked about this. One of the first things the players talked about, you know, is just we got to be cleaner, we got to be smarter, um, play with a little bit more purpose. Um, but that, that happens. The, the best part about it is we stayed within ourselves. You know, we got back to playing our brand of basketball. We showed some resilience, and uh, it paid off for us. How do you have an update on Daniel at all? Not, not, not a bit. Do you like how you guys adjusted with him off the floor? And you know, it's one of those things, that, once again, we've seen it, you know, next man mentality. Um, you know, junk it up, play different lineups, play small. Uh, we have enough bodies to just, you know, we're going to have to figure it out. And, um, you know, kudos to those guys because they stepped up and made plays late. Um, Carol wasn't just huge talking the whole game. He seems like the loudest person the whole game. How big was that shift up his time? <laughs> Trez being Trez. And it's, uh, you know, we've talked about it. It's, uh, it's an invaluable asset to have a guy who's just brings that juice, that energy. Um, his, his voice is, you know, contagious and kind of gets us going. Uh, so uh, it's a good thing to have. And, and he's, he's like that every day. So it's, uh, it's great. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's tough when you add eight new bodies to a roster, you, you know, incorporate new staff, new head coach. And you know, so a lot of things are in flux. So, uh, you know, short preseason, only four preseason games. Um, we're starting to coalesce. So it's, it's good to see we, and we still have a long way to go. Um, we've shown good moments. We just have to show it more consistently. Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's a heck of an asset because he does it every night and doesn't necessarily show up in the box score. He can obviously score in the post. He'll, he's going to get you second possessions, loose balls. Uh, he'll make a defensive play. Uh, but the intangibles, you know, uh, to Ava's point, the, his voice, his command, his direction, uh, I think that helps calm our, uh, our angst at times. You know, we get frazzled or, you know, it's not going our way. He can kind of help get us recentered. What, what did you see from Brad tonight? His numbers were there, but he didn't look like he, I guess, made as much impact as he probably You know what? I thought he did. And, you know, uh, Tatum had that stretch um, third quarter, but, you know, I thought he did a great job, you know, and everyone did because at some point everyone was on him. But he, my thing is the defensive end. Keep defending. You're going to make shots. Your rhythm will come. Um, he's not forcing shots. He's taking the shots the defense is giving him. Uh, he's trying to play the right way. So he hasn't made a lot of them yet, but at some point that dam will break. We'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with Chase. Hey Wes, you guys were uh, minus nine in the third and then plus eight in the fourth. What, what changed for you guys from quarter to quarter there? Uh, you know what, we took care of the ball. <laughs> you know, that third quarter, we, we were kicking it all over the gym and you know, that, that allowed them to get out. Uh, we were on our heels. They were downhill and getting to the line. So now you were playing against set defense. So uh, it was a number of things, but I think primarily the turnovers. And Tatum had 23 points, but his shooting night, I'm sure you would take that. You, you mentioned Beal's defense, and you had talked about the potential you saw on that end of the floor for him in the offseason. Did you kind of see that play out tonight? Oh, for sure. You know, it's always probably a challenge. He and Jason know each other well. They've known each other for a long time. So he probably gets up for him a little bit. Uh, which is great, you know, that, you know, it's some, a bit of a rivalry, but uh, both of them are, are dynamic offensive players. Um, and it, we did a heck of a job, you know, you got the, that stretch in the third, but overall I'm pleased how we were uh, able to keep both him and Brown somewhat subdued. And then just what was the key to having uh, such an advantage on the boards tonight? Just our energy and effort. Uh, you know, it's a mindset we've always talked about. It's not on the bigs, it's all five. And, and I think it's, it's crucial in these close games. You can't give those possessions back. DA? Wes, um, I, I wonder how encouraging it is to win a game on the road when Brad has as tough a night shooting as he did tonight. It's very encouraging. Um, you know, it's, you know, we've seen it, you know, even when he missed the, uh, 
the game the other night. It's, we have enough depth, uh, versatility to, you know, withstand some of that. You know, no one wants him not to play or not to play well, but it's encouraging to see that, you know, we're, we're able to hold our own even when our best player is not, you know, probably playing to his best as of yet. I think he will. He'll get his rhythm. So uh, when that happens, it's, uh, it'll be good for us. And what did you see from Dinwiddie as kind of a de facto closer tonight for, yeah. for you? Made play after play after play. So I, I give him a lot of credit. Um, you know, once we got through that stretch of turnovers, we were settled, we, we stayed organized, and he made big plays down the stretch. You know, I think we saw it the other night, time and time again, someone stepped up, made a play. You're on. Um, coach, uh, great win tonight. Um, can you talk about uh, Denny Abdi? I think defensively today we saw uh, again him producing uh, uh, some good uh, pos uh, possessions, and also maybe that dunk and, and that three pointer getting him more confidence. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he stepped up, made free throws late. Uh, he, I thought he uh, defended well. You know, with a guy like that, his size, you know, he's got the mobility, athleticism to, to guard those guys. Gives you just one more body that you could throw at him. You know, and. When he's knocking down shots, making plays off the bounce, attacking the rim, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's special. So I think it, uh, it's good for him. It's good for us to see it. And hopefully, you know, it gives him a little bit of boost in his confidence. Great. Thanks. Neil. Hey, Coach. Um, third quarter, Brad's talking to the ref. You know, he uses you as a prop a little bit. Are you all for it? Or it looked like it took you a little bit off guard? <laughs> no, I have no problem with it at all. Uh, I think he was trying to prove a point. And at that point, I thought he was correct. You know, obviously we can, we can differ, but you know what, he's, he's a competitor and he's not going to let any possession slide. So, you know, as long as he do, does so respectfully uh, with the officials, I have no problem with uh, him having, you know, communication and back and forth. And I think it, it's good for him. David, you less have been talking about wanting to be more involved in this offense and find new opportunities. It seemed like you're with the threes was really critical tonight. What, what were you kind of able to, to take advantage of? Um, just the flow of the offense. You know, uh, see the plays, you know, wasn't, you know, coming my way. Uh, but when it did, you know, I was open or try to create something um, and just be uh, being ready to shoot the ball, you know, staying engaged and not, you know, getting sidetracked out there, knowing I'm not touching the ball. Bouncing back from the loss in Brooklyn to tonight, it seemed like two different groups were out on the floor. How do you kind of make sense of that in your head? I mean, we we felt like we should have won a game in Brooklyn as well. You know, we had a lot of mistakes. Same same here, uh, down the stretch. You know, we had a lot of turnover. We couldn't score the ball. Uh, but tonight, you know, we we stayed together. You know, uh, and just you know, we we, we pulled it out together. Uh, we was able to get stops and score the ball. So that was good um, as far as the team effort. What was kind of the key to staying organized down the stretch of the game? Uh, just staying engaged, you know, but still being able to, you know, communicate, you know, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with each other. You know, no arguments, no, no, no trying to get, like, uh, like ahead of this, like each other. You know, just basically coming to the huddle and be like, look, you know, Let's, let's buckle down, you know, no, all, all positive, no, not negative. Chase. Hey, man, you guys uh, did a pretty good job against Jason Tatum, 23 points, but he didn't shoot very well. I know you'll take that any day, I'm sure. Well, what was the key there? Uh, just being active uh, on him. Uh, try to show him different uh, coverages, you know, and try to limit his touches, you know, we knew he was going to come out, you know, he's a great one-on-one -on -one player, you know, uh, and we, we took, we wanted to take that personal and, and, and ball down on the defensive end, you know, and try to contain him. You know, we knew he was going to score the ball uh, at, a, at a high volume. Um, we just wanted to contain him. What does it say about this team uh, for, for Brad to have a bit of an off shooting night and you guys win against this team on the road? Uh, Man, it says a lot. You know, we, what, the fourth game? Uh, you know, we still getting to know each other. You know, the chemistry is is building as we speak. You know, um, and I feel like everybody's, you know, still trying to find their way, you know, their rhythm uh, within the, uh, the flow of the offense that we have. Uh, and it's going to come. You know, it's still early. 
You know, we're not really worried about it. We're just trying to, one thing, we all got the same mindset, trying to get the win. DA? Hey, KCP, um, man, it looked like you were guard, you were face guarding Tatum on a possession or two down the stretch there. Uh, just wondering how, how important is it to do your work early against a guy like that? Uh, very important. You know, you don't want to kind of get the ball and then start, you know, getting comfortable with it, you know, get in, the, get in the rhythm, his rhythm. So I try to keep him uncomfortable as much as possible throughout the game, you know, uh, show him different coverage, you know, the full deny. You know, I might, like you said, face guard him a couple of times, just show him some, some different looks, you know, uh, just to keep him thinking uh, about what I'm going to do. Uh, so, I mean, it, it worked tonight. Uh, and you know, it's always important to do your, early, uh, your, your, your work early on guys like that. And you guys were, I mean, I know they, they're not the biggest team, but Horford is known for, you know, late game, getting on the glass. He had a couple of putbacks, but y'all seem to be able to keep a body on him a lot during the game and, and have a good advantage on the rebounds. Um, what, um, you know, kind of helped us out. You know, he was, he was popping a lot. You know, he wasn't rolling yeah. uh, to, to be down there on that, on the block. Uh, so that, that really helped us out through the game you know, where he was popping to that three. Uh, so the smallest to come in the rebound, you know, even Trez was down there rebounding with the, with, uh, with the guards. So, uh, no, he, he kind of helped us out a lot uh, by just popping. Iran. Um, uh, Caldwell, uh, can you talk about, uh, Danny Avdia's, uh, contribution today, uh, some of his. Uh, you know, that dunk you see uh, from his defense, uh, what, what are you seeing from him? Uh, I mean, every day I'm, I'm, I'm seeing him, you know, just get a little more comfortable. You know, you know, it's, it's, it's his first uh, game, like well, his first year back playing since his injury. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's getting more comfortable out there. You know, he's starting to like relax, you know, uh, and just, just play basketball. You know, it's a, it's a simple game. You know, it's, some, sometimes we make it hard. Uh, but you know he's he's getting the flow of the offense, you know, and he's always been playing defense since we started. So I'm I'm impressed. Thanks, Neil. Hey KCP, Brad talked about kind of you know last game felt like you know, a little bit of a wake up call. What was the mood and the tone of this team, you know, since that last game and coming into this game? Um, I mean we like I said earlier, you know, we we we. We, we went to Brooklyn, you know, we wanted to win. You know, we had that mindset, you know, uh, but it all boiled down to that, you know, that, that fourth quarter where we had a lot of mistakes. Uh, and today, you know, we, we wanted to come out, we, we was in shoot around and we was focused. You know, we wanted to come out because the last game, we wanted to come out a uh, hot start, which we did, you know, uh, and we wanted to contain that. You know, we didn't want to fight from behind to start. And we all, it was all, Everybody had the same mindset uh, to start the game, which was good. Thanks, KCP. Last question, Dwayne. Hey, KCP. Uh, this is only the fourth game, but can you just touch on the, the mental toughness the team showed down the stretch to stay locked in to pull a win out? Uh, it, was, it was through the roof. I know, I know they we was up uh, double uh, digit. You know, they ran on two runs, you know, to bring it to two. Uh, one, or I think they even took the lead a couple times. Uh, but we never, you know, lost our composure. You know, we stayed, you know, we stayed down. You know, we stayed within each other, you know, and it was all positive. You know, that that energy, you know, that we give each other, uh, you know, helps. Uh, and, you know, we had the coaches behind us pushing us. You know, everything was just going right, you know, uh, right to finish the game. And, and last one for you. Uh, Trez had mentioned on Twitter, you know, the energy kind of started with him and Bill. Can you just talk about the game he had tonight? Oh, Trez is man, he's amazing. And I love Trez. You know, he's a he's a he's an animal down there, man. It's it's hard to you know stop, you know, that when you got that much energy, you know, you're always on the glass, you know, you you <laughs> you're overpowering people. Uh so man, we we want Trez to continue to do that. You know, that's what you know, his, his, his job is down there to rebound that ball, you know, score, you know, and defend. Uh, and he tonight he showed that real well. Especially after um, a loss that brought you been kind of unfocused in Brooklyn, what do you kind of take away from this game where you guys were really organized down the stretch? 
Um, well, it's all about how you respond in life and in basketball. So I think we did a great job of uh, having a little bit more sense of urgency this game. Uh, and we had our moments when we didn't, and uh, that's suspect, you know, human nature. But uh, I think for the most part, we showed uh, resiliency and did a great job of one having the lead uh, to protect us throughout the whole game, and then sustaining the run um, over that last like you know two and a half minutes uh, where they kind of made it a little uh, a little a little close. And um, you know we did a great job as a team effort. Everyone made plays. Do you feel like you guys did well to withstand the third quarter stretch, especially? Well, I mean, we just did a good job of just making key plays down the stretch. You know, whether it was uh, tip out rebounds, was it you know floaters or you know big big shots or you know just getting good defensive rebounds. You know, uh, all those little things they build up and they add to each other. And we did a great job of you know stacking those up. When Brad had kind of the off shooting night that he had tonight and against the Nets, you KCP stepped up. How encouraging is it that? It not something you've just done once you've kind of proved that time again now? Well, I mean, it's um, it's a team game. And, you know, uh, a lot of times in this uh, society, you know, a lot of times that, at least in the sports world, that gets, uh, you know, taken for granted a little bit. You know, er everyone makes key plays. Everyone matters. And, you know, if uh, one of our brothers is not playing well, it's up for, you know, that next man up mentality. And, you know, you, you got to do your job. You got to be professional. And, um, like I said, everyone made key plays uh, down the stretch and uh, helped us to win, you know, no matter if somebody was struggling or not. Um, when, when they make that run and the crowd gets going and you're on the road, does that help the team come together, kind of grow together? You, you know, you got a lot of new faces. Is that early test kind of for you? Yeah, I think we did a, uh, just a great job of just breathing, you know, just slowing it down and, and, and trying to figure out, you know, figure our composure out. And uh, I think once we did that, we did a great job. And obviously, those those moments are big, and it's great to have them on the road, and especially um, in a building like this in TD Garden. So um, I think it was really, really good for us, and especially for us as a young team and a team that hasn't been together. You know, a lot of fresh faces, a lot of um, you know turnover on the coaching staff. So I think it was great as a collective. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you guys when you talk, you kind of like talking all the time, and it's always same volume maybe how is it that he doesn't fade into the background or you don't see him out um yeah i mean he's 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 always on 10 he's always yelling uh yelling at you um mm -hmm. he's always saying something but um you know where it's coming from you know it's coming from a a, a good part because you know he wants to win he's a very competitive person and um you know it's it's just veteran leadership you know we're, we're all there we all have our moments to, to step in and say something and um you know hold people accountable and um, you know, that he's, he's done a good job of that so far. And, um, you know, we need it from everybody. You know, I think uh, on winning teams, it's not just one leader. It's um, a team of leaders. And everyone holds everybody uh, accountable and police each other. So um, I think it's great. Chase. Aku's uh, 23 points for Tatum, but he didn't shoot very well. Um, what would you guys do to limit him in that regard? Uh, I think we just did a great job of uh, mixing up bodies, you know, uh, between me, between um, KCP. Um, Danny was out there on them. You know, we all did a great job on them. And, um, you know, when you're playing a great player, it, it's not always one person that's going to, you know, stop someone all the time. You've got to throw bodies at them, uh, make them work, see different, um, see different type of, uh, you know, defensive personnel, um, as, as I would say. And we just did a great job. We did a great job on him. We did a great job on um, uh, Jalen Brown as well. So, um, you know, it, it was a good night for us defensively. And uh, Denny Avdia missed that layup in the second half, and you kind of embraced him. Um, was that just a, a moment you kind of chose as a leader to lift him up a little bit? I mean, you know, we're out there just having fun. You know what I mean? Um, if you miss something, you know, human nature, you're going to be down on yourself. And, um, no, I think it's very, very important, especially, you know, when you have young players just to keep them uh, level-headed and keep them, you know, kind of sane out there, you know, and just, you know, relax a little bit. Um, you know, he had an opportunity to uh, have an easy dunk and try to go for the and one and missed it. And, you know, it's okay. It happens. But, um, you know, went to the line, made the two free throws, made up for it. And uh, we just kept it pushing. And, that you know, that's, 
it's kind of what you need um, out there and it's important for the team uh, camaraderie and, and it's important to you know uplift guys and keep them positive. DA. Who's you you have never rebounded at the rate you're rebounding to start this season. And um, is that was that is that a conscious design thing or is the ball just finding you right now? Um, I mean, if you, if you look at um, if you look at my year last year, um, you know, probably had one of my better years as a pro last year. And one of the biggest things, obviously, was, you know, being a menace uh, defensively, but also crashing the glass. And um, I, I've kind of always been that player. Um, you know, I think my first and second year, um, you know, toned it off. But if you look back at my career, you look back at, you know, me in college, you know, that's where I, my bread and butter was. So, um, you know, when I'm focusing on just, you know, defense and rebounding, uh, the game kind of just flows for me. And um, those are the most two most important uh, pieces to uh, the game of basketball, defense and rebounding. You know, if you don't have uh, both of those, you know, you're going to lose a lot of games. So uh, I just try to put my, um, you know, just, you know, just help the team out any way I can and um, just play as hard as I can and, um, you know, try to make winning plays, and that's part of it. Coach, do you feel like there was a difference in approach tonight? Brad said that was something that uh, you thought was kind of off in Brooklyn. Um, I definitely think it was, man. Um, you know, I think we came out and responded the right way. Um, you know, from start to finish of the game, we put together a four, 48 minute game. Um, even though, you know, they made their runs, you know, had different laps and we had different, um, you know, let down on defense in the floor. You know, we never got down on ourselves. We never, um, you know, started blaming each other. You know, we stuck in, uh, we hung together and we made the stops when we need to and came out with a big win on the road. Um, next man up, simple as that, man. Um, we've been practicing with a variety of lineups throughout the practice and throughout the preseason, man. So, uh, you know, guys have been uh, in all different type of positions and all different type of rotation. Um, you know, we end up having to go uh, small with DB and uh, Kuz out there. But, I mean, like I said, uh, it's just about next man up. Um, you know, he went down with a tough, uh, like, thigh contusion, um, you know. But, you know, he's going to get his treatment. Um, respect him, you know, maybe to be ready tomorrow. Um, but, you know, it's next man up mentality. Um, and I think that's what we did tonight. We came in and carried our game plan out to a T, um, even when Gaff went down. Um, I mean, just effort. Honestly, I think rebounding is an effort thing. Um, it's one of those things that you got to want to do. So um, he's just going in there, um, you know, relentlessly, um, especially when we're small. Um, he's playing the four. Um, it's a little bit different uh, if he was at the, you know, three point uh, at the three, um, you know, because he's had to be guarding more guys on the perimeter on the wing. Um, but he's at the four position, so he's around that, uh, you know, painted area a lot. And he's just going after it, man. It's just the effort thing. I think he's just going after it and just, um, you know, just playing the right way, really. Chase. Hey, Trez, uh, you had your, your tweet after the last game calling your performance unacceptable. And, and, you know, the numbers were fine. You shot well. What didn't you like about that performance that you wanted to change going into this game? Oh, uh, we lost the game, brother. We didn't come out with the right mindset. We didn't play on the defensive end of the ball. And, uh, you know, they kind of got everything they wanted to at will, um, you know. And I just felt like, you know, going into that game, I let, um, you know, just a little bit, uh, you know, just our flow and just the way that we were playing kind of, you know, get me out of my game and, you know, kind of turn my energy towards, um, you know, just not the right approach. And I don't think I can, you know, honestly not even think, I know I can't do anything like that because we have a young team and these guys, um, you know, they do and turn to me a lot when it comes to the, the vocal point, you know, because they know I'm a guy that's always vocal, always talking um, both on and off and on the court. Um, so, you know, really it's just more so, um, me uh, holding myself to a higher standard, man. I, I, I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm my own worst critic. Um, and, you know, it's kind of something that I kind of learned from my dad. And it's a blessing that he kind of, you know, instilled that in me early, really. And you're used to playing for some good teams, some contenders. Um, well, what about this three and one start? Do you think is sustainable that you've liked, that you, you would like to see more of going forward? Um, honestly, brother, it's a brand new season, man. So this team is a contender, bro. Like, we're a brand new team, man. It's a new team. Um, and we're just trying to come in and just play the right way and continue to put together wins in the basketball game, man. Um, but, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, what happened in previous situations. I'm not talking about what happened in previous years, man. That's in the past. I can't get any of that back. Um, I'm a Washington Wizard. And uh, right now, I think we started out 
to a great start, but it's a long season, man. I think what we're, you know, four games in, man, and, you know, how many more to go. So it's just a start, man. We just got to continue to keep building and continue to keep putting together great days. Neil. Hey, Trez, I forgot to ask you this uh, after the opener, but the pat-down pregame ritual that you do with Brad, where did that come from? And, you know, how did you guys come about it? Um, this is more so a free for one thing, man. Uh, just one of those things that, you know, you're not really stripped in to do. Uh, some guys kind of have handshakes when they're coming out, man. Um, I think, you know, I'm really just checking everything about my boy, um, swag and agenda going into the game, man, because, you know, he's the head of our snake. You know, he's our, you know, top dog runner, man. So really just checking my boy, um, you know, tired before he goes into the game and get ready to lead us to, you know, whatever we got ahead of us. Appreciate it. See if Charles back. Thank you. Last question to Christos. You know, Trez, congratulations on the win, the performance as well. Thank you. How big deal for you was to respond after the game in Brooklyn? Um, honestly, man, it was more so about uh, just responding in a positive way in the energy department for my team, man. I think my team does a great job of feeding off my energy and feeding to, you know, what I bring to the court, both, um, you know, on the offensive, defense and the floor, you know, um, offensive and the floor, uh, you know, just going out the extra possessions, um, you know, giving us second chance shots and cleaning up. Um, when guys, you know, happen to make a miss and then on the defensive end, just being the anchor, um, you know, talking about all our coverages and just pointing guys to where they need to be and covering for guys, you know, when it's a defense lapse. Um, as far as that, man, that, that's all it was about. Like I said, this is, this is not an I game. This is not a me game, man. It's not a personal agenda I'm trying to feel, man. Honestly, that, that statement was made because I know what my team needs for me night in and night out. And I just felt like me as a competitor, as, you know, a guy that comes in, with his hard hat on, ready to work every day. I just feel like I didn't give my team a full 48, and that was just on me, and that's, you know, all I made clear, simple as that. And what do you say about the character of the team and the way that you react through the adversities in every game? Um, I mean, honestly, my team feeds on me, man. Um, Like I said, man, I play with a lot of passion. I play with a lot of heart. I play with a lot of aggression, man. And, you know, it's all generated in the right way. And I think my team does a great job of understanding that, man. And nobody's taking it that as a personal thing. Nobody's taking it that, oh, this guy just continues to yell at me, you know, and we have coaches. No, I mean, guys know that I've been in this league for, you know, a good amount of years. I've been around on a different amount of teams, man. And, you know, at the end of the day, I just put in the work and just earn my respect from the veteran guys, man, to the point where, you know, my voice holds um, weight in the locker room a little bit. And, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to do it by leading by example and by, you know, also being that vocal point um, for our group because, you know, I had a lot of different vets that was in front of me that taught me um, the ways of doing it, really.